Um, as a community, Cooper's is like no other. Um, and I might be a bit biased because I am from Cooper's. I'm from Sandy Cross. I live here now. I was raised here along with my, my whole family. This community, when we need to, we come together like none other. From the fire department, to the Royalton Club, to the churches, to the Alumni Association of the high school, we come together. So this community is just, it's a family. This community is unlike any community that I've ever worked with. I've been at several amazing schools in this school system, but there's just one and only Coopers. It's just, it's an amazing place to be. Um, the Coopers community is very supportive of this school. Um, they've been very supportive, they've helped us, they've given us advice, they've donated money. Um, it's just amazing the feel here, even among the teachers and, and staff, it's, it's a family atmosphere. They're here for the, for the children. Our gymnasium is a classroom. Uh, we use it for our physical education classes as well as our fine arts program, our, our music and arts programs, their presentations, their concerts are all held in the gym. Um, that is our gathering place. And really, during our summer months here in North Carolina, we know it gets extremely hot and it just wasn't a safe place to have our children um, to be able to really utilize that gym like it needed to be. It needed to be air conditioned. We were only able to use our gym during the colder months of the year for our celebrations and um, community functions and really for our instructional classes. So having the AC in the gym is really going to increase our instructional time that we're able to use the gym. So when all the pieces of the puzzle came together, we had the proper leadership that we needed in our PTO as well as our principal here at Cooper's. Uh, we felt like now was the time to move forward with trying to raise the funds to, to put air conditioning in the gymnasium and renovate um, that historic building. Probably first of all the students, their support was amazing. Um, the ones that baked the muffins and brought us the, the money. I think it was $9.50 and they were so excited to be able to help. And then the little boy um, that would bring in his change, every time he collected enough, he'd bring it in a little Ziploc bag. Um, my kids and, and other children too, when we had fundraisers, they were working as well. Not just the parents, but the students were working trying to help. We baked her brownie cupcakes with Reese cups in the middle and it was really fun because we went, we went around um, the little shopping center at Westmount and sold them and we made a lot of money. I think probably my most favorite memory is seeing one of the notes that one of the alumni sent. She sent $50 and she sent a small note that said, for all my times at Cooper's and what it made me, um, this is my best donation. Um, that $50, though, was not a substantial amount of money. Um, it just meant so much that she was given her very best donation for what this school and what this community meant to her. During the early phases of our project, we developed an excellent working relationship with Dr. Cunningham and his staff at the central office. Several years ago, the Cooper's PTA launched this ambitious effort to install air conditioning into their um, gymnasium. And at first we were taken aback because it was such a big project. We're talking about a project that's over $150,000, but they wasted no time. They galvanized the community and they were able to raise over $100,000 and partner with the Nash Rocky Mount Public Schools maintenance department to install an air conditioning unit that the community can enjoy. It has to be a team effort. I would start with the, the PTO and the principal. Um, and then reach out to the community. I don't know um, what organizations are in your community. You know, we had the fire department and the Ruritan Club, but I would reach out to, to those and try to work together. Um, and certainly the parents and the students and, and make it a team effort. Anyone who's getting ready to, um, you know, go into this journey um, when you're trying to, to raise funds for a big project, I would say most certainly you got to have a good team. Um, you know, I most certainly could have not have done this by myself. I needed Wendy Wilson. I needed Michelle Bass. I needed Larry Catalano. I needed our central office. I needed that support. We needed the backing of our alumni association. You know, Nash Rocky Mount schools, in a way, we have some, with some awesome stories because so many of our schools were previously high schools 
and they may have an alumni association that you're not aware of. So I would say most certainly tap into that community support. It doesn't matter where you are. There are people in that community who want to see you succeed and that is all over this school district. Establish your team and then work together to solicit support from your community and most certainly get your kids involved. And you know, there, it's possible to do this. It may take a while, it is, is an endeavor that you most certainly need to put a lot of thought into, but it is possible, you just have to have faith. You have to have faith in your team, you have to have faith in your community, and have faith as a whole that you guys are gonna be able to accomplish your goal. How do I feel now? It's amazing when I walk in there. Um, even the changes where it's been painted and updated, it's just, it's like, wow, we did this. We did this. Just a small, humble community came together and did this for the greater good of the children. Like every time we have to do like laps sometimes or we have to run back and forth across the gym. When we come back and sit down, like the air is going and you don't have to worry about fanning yourself. Um, I think this, this accomplishment is it's a triumph for the school and for more than that, the community and the school system. It's just a, it's an amazing feat and everybody should be extremely proud. Get involved, meet with your principal, meet with your central office folk, and just get involved because when people can get together and rally behind our children and providing the best possible conditions for our children, big things can happen.